So this song is about <laughs> nightmares. When you when you're a child, nightmares occur. Right. And uh, that's it. I mean, what what more needs to be said about this song, right? Right. Well, I mean the, that that. Uh, I think the whole thing of wanting to comfort your child, wanting to, to keep them safe from everything, but when they go to sleep, you can't. You can't keep them safe. There's stuff that enters their mind or that, that's creating, you know, whatever, subconscious that you can't save them from. So at that point, when you're a kid, you have to start standing up for yourself and you've got to battle the world even in, in your dreams. How long to write this song? Do you remember hmm. writing it? It took a while because I think the original lyrics for this were were about something else. It was about family, but... What was it about, Lars? Uh, it was about a dysfunctional family, really. Right. So, it, but Why it is morphed. Lars laughing at that? <laughs> Why? Because you didn't well, like that, the original... No, that's putting it mildly, saying dysfunctional family. It was... Uh, my recollection was it was about crib death. Crib death? Uh, oh, God. A song about crib death? That's dysfunctional, isn't it? <laughs> oh, fuck. Did you say no to James, that. hey, I don't think we should write a song about crib death? <laughs> about crib death? D did you well, say I that mean, to what, him? What happened? What happened? Would the story be different? <laughs> really? <laughs> I'd like well, to hear the original said, lyric. Would we not be here because of that? <laughs> I would like to hear the original lyric. <laughs> Bob, so Rock, I, Bob Rock, Bob Rock, and I looked at each other and went, hmm. Uh, maybe we should chat with James. I go, why don't you chat with James? <laughs> so, <laughs> and he uh, went and said, hey, James, crib death is kind of a, a little too out there. Well, it, uh, I mean, it's we're not dark, so much that's too not, dark. It was not so much about the commercial elements. It was just more, it was like whether that was the the, the, the fitting vibe for the music. Right. Uh, the, the music for uh, Enter Sandman was the first. We did four records, and they got each more and more progressive along the way and Justice for All was like this ultimate in 10 minute songs and songs that were all over the place and so we sat down afterwards and wanted to try to simplify a little bit and Inner Sandman was the first song that we wrote we wrote it literally like in a day Wow! and um, it seemed like um, the lyrics were not super fitting to the simplicity of the music Do you remember um, the original title? Was it Enter Sandman or was it something else? Um... No, I don't think it was titled. I don't think the song was ever titled until right at the very end. Um, yeah, a lot of the songs aren't titled till the yeah. end. It's like it's like naming your dog, or you, you know, or uh, <laughs> you know, it's like uh, until you find out the character of it, yeah. then you can name it. Yeah. It's like it's a nickname for the song. You know? Will you ever go back and write a song about crib death? Do you think I will that, now? You will yeah, now. Or bring I back will those now. lyrics. Yeah. Please debut that here if you I will. will. <laughs> Not on the Metallica channel. Yeah, don't lose those lyrics. We're celebrating the new 3D film Metallica through the Never. Here is a song.